Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery here on our virtual ATA 2021 set. And today we have Andreas Lorenz from Biter. Andreas, thanks for joining us today. Hi PJ, hi everybody out there. Uh, I'm so happy that we found the time and the slot to have also Biter showing up in this uh, virtual ATA show. You are great doing it. Thank you for inviting us. Absolutely. And we should mention you're coming to us all the way from Germany. I'm here in America. You're there in Germany. We're still getting together to talk about archery. Yeah. Even if, even if we are not live there, but it feels like I'm there with you. <laughs> all right. Well, Andreas Biter, you guys always have great new stuff to talk about at ATA. Start wherever you want to talk about what we got for this year. So this year we have uh, uh, something that we introduced last year, but due to the whole situation and due to the whole uh, market fails we had in the last year because of the whole uh, pandemic situation, we just want to reinforce our new product, which is the, the Biter Lock System. Yes. The Biter Lock System, which is a, a, a quick disconnect, which it has a positive lock. A right. positive lock means that every part that you attach or you combine with this uh, quick lock is directly attached to the bow without, uh, that means that the screw is going into the thread directly and with one and a half turn, you have it positively locked. So there is no loss of stiffness. Um, the whole stabilizer system becomes and stays more stiff than right. with any other quick disconnect. Yes, that thing's ingenious. Yeah, and we offer it as a uh, option to be put on any V-bar as an extra part. So you can buy just the adapters for an existing V-bar or an existing stabilizer, or you can buy a V-bar from Biter with the implemented part. Right. And logically, we have our stabilizer system, which can be ordered at no extra charge uh, with the long adapters to be put on a vital lock system. So awesome. we have the vital lock system implemented in our stabilizer system. Yes. That thing is great. I remember seeing that last year. That is definitely a solid connection there. Absolutely. What else? And you got? Due to the fact that we don't, uh, we decided not to produce a new stabilizer. We have our multi rod stabilizer on the market since well, almost 20 years now still working and has a good value for the quality of the product. As you know, everything what Biter makes is made in Germany, everything. So we are not producing somewhere in other Eastern countries. Right. Um, also the second product, uh, which I want to show you today, you know, probably the Biter V box. I don't know if maybe it's a little bit dark, but the yep. Biter V box is our dampening system. So we decided not to do a stabilizer system because there is not enough parts we could produce our own. I mean, we cannot do carbon rods. Right. Uh, so we said our added value is the knowledge of plastic and the knowledge how to combine plastic and, and aluminum and steel parts together. Okay. And that's what is all over our lines. Uh, if you see the, the by the compound rest, the vital plunger, we always try to combine the best out of plastic with the best out of aluminum and best out of steel so they can work together the best possible. Yeah. In exactly because of this, we introduced the V-Box as a dampening system for all stabilizers. Logically also for the Vita stabilizer, but it works individually on every, any other stabilizer. Why it works so good? It has four membranes in different stiffnesses or weaknesses, however you want to call it. So you can change that middle membrane yeah, and have a different stiffness in the system that you are using. Nevertheless, you also can have a uh, weight in front and back on it. So for example, I have here, you see, I yeah. have weight in front of the V box right. and logically I can also put it on the back and we have a, a, a pretty high number of, options to do this. So we have adapters, quarter in, quarter out, 516 to connect to any stabilizer on the market, our V-Box. Awesome. Also with weights. And uh, the new product is the V-Box Steel. So we made the cox of the V-Box in cooperation with the French manufacturer Arc System. We are doing the V-Box Steel. 
And the V-Box Steel has a big advantage. It has the weight already incorporated in the, in the, in the dampening system. Yes. And you can use less weight in front of it to right. still have a, a, a balancing, a, a different balance on, on, on your stabilizer and a different, a different dampening uh, option. Yeah, that is definitely excellent. Having that weight, that added weight right there. Added weight, it's uh, approximately uh, five ounces weight that we have okay uh, compared to our uh, plastic uh, version which is logically working if you don't use so much weight the bite of e-box standard is absolutely okay you can go uh, up to eight ounces weight uh, uh, even with a weaker membrane but with the uh, steel you don't need that much weight to be added in front of it because it has already an intern weight awesome and still have the four membranes to adapt uh, the stiffness. The stiff, it. right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All These right. are the two biggest uh, things that we have. And next up, I think you had one more. Next, next up, I think everybody knows biter, especially because of the biter knock. Yes, the biter okay. knock, which was introduced in the in the mid eighties, um, as an asymmetric knock for uh, Riker voucher. And uh, in the early uh, 2000s, late 90s, uh, we did a hunter knock for D-loop shooters yes. uh, for symmetric shooting. Logically, D-loop, you hook it in behind the loop, so you need a symmetric knock. So this is the two different types of knock we have. The asymmetric for finger shooters or yep. barebow shooters, and the symmetric knock or hunter knock, as we call it, um, for uh, D-loop shooters. And it's important to say we are a knock manufacturer, so we do knocks which are directly fitting most of the shafts on the market. So you don't need pins or bushings. You have most of the arrows on the market are covered by our knocks. We have knocks in all sizes, all colors. Um, and the good thing we have a chart, uh, actually it's not a chart, it's a search function on our website on right. www.vernerbider.com um, where you can just enter, for example, the diameter of the arrow, the name of the arrow, or whatever. So there are different options that you just have to enter in the string search, and the correct knock will pop up that you can buy uh, at Lancaster uh, for your yes. um, for your arrow. Um, that is an excellent feature, uh, Andreas, because I know we get lots of questions here. People call in, hey, I'm shooting uh, Carbon Express, Maxima Reds. Which biter knock do I use in that? And now people can enter that on your site, figure out which one, and then come to Lancaster and buy it. It's just one thing. Uh, maybe we don't have all the names of the arrows, but if you have the diameter of the arrow, either in inches or in millimeter, millimeters, you can get it. So, for example, a Maxima right. Red is a 244 yes. in a diameter. Uh, we have the knock for the 244, which is called 19620, and absolutely no issue. So just enter either the name of the arrow or the diameter that you get from the specs from the manufacturers. Great tool. And also nice tool. We have uh, our push and pull. I just want to show you. It's a little thing, but it's so interesting. Uh, we have a little tool that helps to install the knock, yes. Okay, but also, and that's more important, even to take it out. Take it out. So it's a push and pull. So you can install and take out the knock without damaging it. That's right. the push and pull is an awesome tool. No more jamming the knock in onto a table or using a quarter or something to try and get it in there. <laughs> Lots Correct. of things and, and that we shouldn't be align, doing. You can align it. You can turn it. Special also, we have the Knock Depot. The Knock Depot keeps all your knocks safe in place. For example, you can count how many knocks you still have. It's not damaging the knocks when you lay when you have them laying around. Right. So you have them all in the depot. The good thing with the depot, you also can install a knock if you want and align it. I mean, you can align the knock, turning it. So it's also an alignment tool. So push and pull and knock depot should not be missing in your quiver and in your toolbox. All right. Always great to see what Biter has for archery every year. They're always innovating, always thinking of stuff. Andreas, we certainly appreciate your time today. Thank you, PJ. Thank you, Lancaster Archers. Thank you, all the archers all over America following us and uh, believing in our products. Thank you. 
All right, folks, there's another video from our virtual ATA set. We even went international this time. Stay tuned. We got lots more coming. (laughs) 